Hello math lovers, I am Jesse. If you have an interest in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry to find the area of a triangle and to find the solution of a quadratic equation, then here I am ready with an interesting problem. We have a square. Now I am marking two points on the square. Using these two points and one corner of the square, a triangle is drawn inside the square. It is clear from the figure that there are three right triangles. Areas of these three right triangles are given as 4, 9 and 7 square units as shown in the figure. Now my problem is, what is the area of the inner white colored triangle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. It will be better if we put some notations to each vertex. I am denoting the square by A, B, C, D and the remaining two vertices by P e and Q. Now we are going to analyze the problem. First of all, we have given that A, B, C, D is a square. Secondly, the triangles A, D, Q, A, B, P and P, C, Q are right triangles. And then areas of them are given us respectively 4, 9 and 7 square units. Now what is our problem? It's nothing but to find the area of the triangle APQ. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Now think about what are the possible ways to find the required area. Since we know the area of right triangles inside the square, the easiest way will be first find the area of the square and then cut out the areas of right triangles. Let's proceed in that way. I am taking the side length of the square as A units, which means AB and AD are equal to A. Then as we know, the area of a square is A square. Next, what is the formula for finding the area of a right triangle? It is nothing but half into product of perpendicular sides. Now for the calculation purpose, let's take BP equal to B units and dq equal to c units which implies qc equal to a minus c and pc equal to a minus b using all this data let's calculate the area of each right triangle first one is triangle adq clearly the perpendicular sides are a and c which implies area equal to half ac which is given as four square units then we get AC equal to 8. Put this as equation 1. Similarly, for the second triangle ABP, the perpendicular sides are A and B, which means area equal to half AB, that is equal to 9 square units. Then we get AB equal to 18. Put this as equation 2. And finally, for the triangle PCQ, the perpendicular sides are a minus c and a minus b. That implies area equal to half into a minus c into a minus b, which is equal to 7 square units. That is, a minus c into a minus b is equal to 14. And put this as equation 3. Now we have three equations ac equal to 8, ab equal to 18, and a minus c into a minus b equal to 14. First, let me take the third equation a minus c into a minus b equal to 14. Opening the bracket and on further simplification, we will get a square plus bc equal to 14 plus ab plus ac. From the equations 1 and 2, substitute the values of ab and ac. Then what we get in final is a square plus bc equal to 14. Put this as equation 4. In this equation, if we can substitute BC in terms of A square, then we are very close to the solution. For that, multiply the equations 1 and 2. That is, AC into AB equal to 8 into 18, which gives BC equal to 144 by A square. Put this as equation 5. 
Now substitute in equation 4. That gives a square plus 144 by a square is equal to 40. Proper rearrangement of this equation will give a raised to 4 minus 40 a square plus 144 is equal to 0. As you can see, this equation is in fact a quadratic equation in a square. And I think you know how to solve. In general, if a times x square plus b times x plus c is equal to 0 is the given quadratic equation, then the solution is given by x equal to minus b plus 4 minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. In our equation, x equal to a square and the coefficients are a is equal to 1, b equal to minus 40 and c equal to 144. On substitution and simplification, we will get two possible values for a square. They are 36 and 4. But in this context, can you say which one is admissible? Coming back to the actual figure, we know that a square is the area of the square and the triangles with given area 4, 9 and 7 square units are drawn inside the square. Therefore, area of the square should be at least 4 plus 9 plus 7 equal to 20 square units. Then only possibility is a square equal to 36 square units. Now we are almost done. What we have to find is the area of y triangle which is obtained by subtracting 4, 9 and 7 from 36. That gives 36 minus 20 equal to 16 square units. And that is the solution we are looking for. My gmail id and instagram id are given in the description. So if you have any doubts or any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. And thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another problem.